Hi, I'm George, CEO of Sequence Communication. Sequence is a leading provider of 5G and 4G technology, focusing on the IoT market. By IoT, we mean all applications of the IoT outside of handset application, uh, specifically the massive IoT market where you have a lot of sensors to connect and the requirement are power, cost and size, and going up into all high-speed application where you can connect uh, uh, whether residential or industrial uh, routers and connectivity. To accelerate this market, Sequas is providing a comprehensive portfolio of products covering all this space. We have the category of product for the massive IoT, where we have our Monarch uh, product family addressing LTM and NBA IoT application, going up to the category one application where you need a little bit more speed up to 10 megabit per second and you get voice and camera application, maybe some as well streaming music. And going further up when you go more for the broadband application where we start talking about product addressing CAT4, CAT6 uh, category where you have 150 megabit, 300 megabit and going further up to exceed one gigabit per second, five gigabit per second for what we call the enhanced mobile broadband uh, services. To we, to what we do unique is really we differentiate in this market by providing an extended list uh, set of features uh, with uh, uh, all the uh, advanced services required uh, to run those applications. Obviously, Power matters a lot on one side, on the other side is really security and advanced feature and integration level. And to accelerate this market on top of this uh, uh, product portfolio, Sequence was fully engaged in this IoT market since the early days, where we did a lot of first turning up the first CAT1 technology in the world, pushing uh, and turning on the first CAT-M network in the world, and this gives us an advantage by having a mature technology where we can support our customer today and we can solve all the problems they are facing to address this, all the IoT applications they are dreaming about. In addition to this engagement, developing the product roadmap, Sequence really built a lot on the partnership. And by partnership, our first partner is really the carriers, cellular carriers, where we spend time with them preparing all the advanced features, certifying the technology. And as we are speaking, we consider Sequence is really the, our technology is deployed by nearly all the carriers uh, around the globe, uh, certified with all the carriers they matter. Uh, and this is really quite unique and quite advanced from Sequence, in addition to having a full comprehensive portfolio of product. And in addition to this, we focus a lot on accelerating this market by building the ecosystem. IoT is very fragmented market, and you have many players that they are not very familiar with the cellular technology. Sequence, we did a lot of work in terms of go-to-market by partnering uh, with uh, technology provider, people helping us to combine our technology and to bring a comprehensive technology to the end users where they can use this technology in an easy way to uh, reduce their time to market, uh, like a microcontroller partner, like uh, uh, PAs, uh, power amplifier RF partners, uh, and this helps uh, to be ready and accelerate time to market. And very recently, by the way, we even went one step farther by bringing almost a, a solution ready to go for all the people engaging, uh, developing IoT application, and they read, they really need to make this IoT, cellular IoT in a very simple way. We have developed a solution called Monarch Go. Monarch Go is a comprehensive solution that you can take it, add the power on it, you don't need certification, and your device becomes connected on the cellular IoT network. To accelerate the IoT market, mainly in the cellular space, the main challenge is really solve the barrier and of uh, integrating cellular technology in a device that originally you didn't use to put wireless even inside this. And facing all those challenges, 
Sequence and Verizon decided to partner to bring to the market a unique solution, the first in its kind. We call this Monarch Do Go, referring to Monarch Sequence platform. This product is essentially is a small box where everything is integrated inside in terms of technology. So we have the LTM technology, chips and module. You have the SIM card and you have an integrated antenna. On top of this, with Verizon, we associate to this a data plan fully built in. And the ultimate goal here is to ship this product to an end customer where all what they have to do is just only plug power on it, connect it, and go. So this is the promise we set to ourselves. We already have first customer using this technology and the results are really amazing. We're seeing people being able to connect a device designed not to be wireless connected. By adding Monarch Go, they do the design by a couple of hours and they are able to go on Verizon. More important on top of this, Seller has a big challenge which is certification of your end product with the carriers. With Monarch Go, there is no need anymore for device certification. Monarch Go has all what's needed inside and it's certified already with Verizon. So all what you have to do, you add it to your product and you can go live on Verizon network. In addition of bringing a very innovative solution for the IoT market, realizing that the IoT market is very fragmented, we put a strategy to accelerate the adoption of cellular IoT. And one angle of this strategy is really to realize that most, if not all, the IoT devices has a microcontroller integrated in the device. And often, the user or the developer of those devices they don't want to change microcontroller. They have their environment ready to go. And all what they are looking for is just only to add, in very simple way, the connectivity. That's why we felt like the best way to approach this market is to partner with the microcontroller vendor in the world. Today, we, we see more than 20 billion microcontroller shipping per year from those various microcontroller vendors. And sequence, we decided to partner, why not, with all of them? but in any case start with a few of them by bringing sequence technology, specifically the Monarch platform where we can provide LTM and NB-IUT connectivity in a very simple way because now it's combined at the software level with the MCU partner. The end user, when he looks to his environment, he's now going to see the regular environment who's familiar, he's familiar with around the MCU but now on top of this, he's going to see very nice interface to connect directly to MCU to the cloud using Sequence, LTM, and NB-IUT technology, specifically our Monarch uh, um, product. By doing this, you're adding a huge value to your IUT device because connectivity, obviously, you can go another way by adding Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. The challenge here is that you have a local connection only you need to have a gateway to have this connectivity working. More important as well, the pairing of the device is always a challenge for the end user. If you add a cellular connectivity where everything is ready there, specifically the data plan is embedded inside the device, the user, they don't have to know how you, the device is connected to the cloud. It's already integrated and it can go. So we're solving two problems here, simplifying the application. So the users, they appreciate the connectivity and they can get value of it without having a complex operation to be done. And it's glo global presence because it's now cellular network which is present worldwide and there is no need to know how it's connected. And on the other side, we're simplifying the time to market to bring a product to the market as well the design effort of the engineers that they have to develop the product. Because those engineers, they are going to see sequence as part of their environment that they use to develop uh, when they write code on a given microcontroller. We're doing a lot of work with this ecosystem. We will be talking more about a couple of uh, microcontroller partners who did this integration 
and we'll be announcing product to the market with this with them. And we will have all the go-to-market ready with all the distributor to push this integrated solution to the market and accelerate the IoT. In the same way, we led the 4G wave and focusing on the 4G, Sequan's intention is to lead the 5G wave. It's not something new in the company. We're working on the 5G since five years. Research, 3GPP engagement, patent portfolio, building the know-how until to bring new generation of product supporting 5G. As we are speaking, Sequence is already sampling 5G chips for massive IoT application. The second generation of our LTM and NB-IoT products, specifically what we called Monarch 2 and Monarch N, both of them supports 5G and they are 5G ready, supporting what we call the release 15 in the 3GPP standard. And they are sampling now. Also, another layer in the massive IoT is really the CAT1 technology, where you need some voice, some camera, some security application, uh, need this technology to run on it. Here we talk about our Calliope uh, uh, chipset. We have obviously a 4G chipset chipping, but we are working, we'll be sampling soon, a Calliope 2, this Calliope 2 is a chip, again, 5G ready, that we're taking to market. This is on one side, and this is what we call the 5G for massive IoT application. On the other side, is really the 5G for broadband and the critical IoT. Here, the challenge is not too much the power, it's more about the speed. We're looking for application where we can push the speed of broadband above one gigabit up to 10 gigabit per second. Sequence again here is fully committed to this space and we announced recently that we are going to accelerate our roadmap by acquiring a, a team uh, 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 that helping us really to accelerate this roadmap. And we're focusing on bringing to the market in the near future, timing will be given later on, a chipset, we call it Taurus. This chip will be able to support uh, enhanced mobile broadband and ultra reliable low latency communication to address the 5G broadband IoT. This chip is now in design, the team is fully engaged, and we intend this to bring this chip to market to support all the industrial IoT as well as the residential IoT application, uh, again, for broadband IoT application. 